Unveiling Life's Secrets A transcendent tale inspired by the story of philosophy by Will Durant. Experience the transformative power of philosophy in this captivating story that condenses life-changing wisdom from the story of philosophy by Will Durant into an intriguing narrative. Join us on our channel as we share an enlightening journey, distilling the essence of Durant's masterpiece into a few minutes of profound insight. Subscribe now and embark on a profound exploration of knowledge, inspiration, and personal growth. Let the story begin. In a world filled with endless distractions and fleeting moments, there exists a transformative journey awaiting those with the courage to embark upon it. It is a journey that transcends time and space, guiding us through the profound realms of philosophy, wisdom, and self-discovery. Brace yourself, for within the pages of this story lies a tapestry woven with intellectual curiosity, transformative ideas, and the power to ignite the flames of inspiration within your very soul. Step into the footsteps of Friedrich, a seeker of truth and a champion of reason, as he embarks on an odyssey that will challenge your perceptions, provoke deep contemplation, and leave an indelible mark upon your heart. From the spark of curiosity to the triumph of reason, from the beauty of aesthetics to the depths of ethical dilemmas, Friedrich's transformative journey will unfold before your eyes, offering a profound opportunity for growth, introspection, and personal enlightenment. Join us as we delve into the captivating chapters that intertwine philosophy and the human experience, beckoning you to explore the timeless wisdom of great thinkers and contemplate the mysteries that lie beneath the surface of our existence. Together, we will traverse the landscapes of truth, freedom, and the pursuit of happiness, allowing the transformative power of philosophy to awaken your own intellectual curiosity and ignite the fire of personal transformation within. So, dear listener, prepare to be captivated, inspired, and forever changed by Friedrich's story. Let the journey begin, for within these pages lies a transformative odyssey that will challenge your beliefs, broaden your perspectives, and guide you towards a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. Open your mind, embrace the transformative power of philosophy, and allow Friedrich's story to shape the course of your own transformative journey. Chapter 1 – The Spark of Curiosity As the gentle breeze rustled the pages of Friedrich's newly discovered book, The Story of Philosophy, a spark of curiosity ignited within him. The dusty old tome beckoned to him, whispering promises of profound revelations and intellectual adventures. Eager to embark on a transformative journey of the mind, Friedrich opened its pages, his heart racing with anticipation. The first chapter, aptly titled The Spark of Curiosity, drew Friedrich into the enchanting world of philosophy. He learned about the ancient Greek philosopher Socrates, who, through his Socratic method, encouraged questioning and critical thinking. Friedrich found himself captivated by the idea that knowledge is not merely obtained through passive acceptance but through the relentless pursuit of truth. With each turn of the page, Friedrich encountered philosophers who challenged conventional wisdom and dared to explore the depths of human existence. He delved into the teachings of Plato, who expounded upon the existence of an eternal realm of forms, urging individuals to seek higher truths beyond the realm of the physical. Friedrich's curiosity led him to the teachings of Aristotle, who emphasized the importance of observation and empirical evidence in understanding the world. He marveled at Aristotle's classification of knowledge into different disciplines, recognizing that diverse fields of study held the keys to unlocking the mysteries of existence. Embracing his newfound intellectual fervor, Friedrich devoured the chapters on Descartes, the father of modern philosophy, who declared, I think, therefore I am. Descartes' radical skepticism and relentless pursuit of certainty resonated deeply with Friedrich, urging him to question the very foundations of his own beliefs and perceptions. As Friedrich journeyed through the annals of philosophy, he encountered the wisdom of Immanuel Kant. Kant's revolutionary concept of the noumenal and phenomenal realms challenged Friedrich to consider the limitations of human perception and the inherent mysteries that lie beyond our understanding. Inspired by the words of the great philosophers, Friedrich's curiosity blossomed into a voracious hunger for knowledge. He began to explore the various branches of philosophy, from metaphysics to ethics, epistemology to aesthetics. Each new concept he encountered enriched his understanding of the world, and he reveled in the intellectual adventure that lay before him. 
The spark of curiosity was not merely a chapter in a book, it was the catalyst that ignited Friedrich's transformative journey. It ignited a flame within his soul, propelling him forward into a world of profound ideas and endless possibilities. Friedrich embraced his role as an explorer of knowledge, a seeker of truth, and a champion of reason. Little did Friedrich know that his thirst for understanding would lead him down paths he had never imagined. Philosophy would become more than a mere academic pursuit, it would shape his worldview, challenge his beliefs, and ultimately guide him towards a life of purpose and fulfillment. As Friedrich closed the first chapter of his journey, he felt a renewed sense of purpose and determination. The spark of curiosity had kindled a fire within him that would burn brightly, illuminating the path ahead. With an insatiable hunger for knowledge and a steadfast commitment to self-discovery, Friedrich eagerly turned the page, ready to embark on the next chapter of his transformative odyssey. Chapter 2 – The Triumph of Reason Buoyed by the spark of curiosity ignited in his soul, Friedrich delved deeper into the realm of philosophy, eager to explore the power of reason and its transformative potential. The second chapter, aptly titled The Triumph of Reason, opened Friedrich's eyes to the remarkable capacity of human intellect and its ability to shape the world. Friedrich encountered the influential works of René Descartes, the renowned French philosopher who championed the supremacy of reason as the foundation for knowledge. Descartes cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am, became a mantra for Friedrich as he began to appreciate the profound implications of rational thought. With each passing page, Friedrich embraced the philosophy of rationalism, which argued that reason is the primary source of knowledge. He reveled in the elegant arguments put forth by philosophers such as Baruch Spinoza and Gottfried Leibniz, who sought to decipher the underlying principles of the universe through rigorous logical analysis. The teachings of Immanuel Kant added a new dimension to Friedrich's understanding of reason. Kant proposed that reason not only guides our perceptions but also sets the moral compass of our actions. Friedrich contemplated the importance of rational deliberation in navigating the complexities of ethical dilemmas and in aligning personal values with universal principles. Inspired by the philosophical giants, Friedrich recognized reason as a powerful tool that could lead humanity out of ignorance and superstition. He marveled at the triumphs of reason in scientific discoveries, technological advancements, and societal progress, all rooted in the relentless pursuit of truth and logical reasoning. As Friedrich continued his intellectual journey, he encountered the groundbreaking philosophies of John Locke and David Hume, who emphasized the role of empirical evidence and sensory experience in the acquisition of knowledge. Friedrich realized that reason, when coupled with observation and experimentation, had the potential to uncover profound truths about the natural world and human nature. Imbued with the transformative power of reason, Friedrich contemplated its significance in his own life. He began to employ reason as a guiding light in his decision-making processes, seeking rational justifications for his beliefs and actions. Reason became not only a tool for intellectual exploration but also a moral compass, shaping Friedrich's interactions with others and his pursuit of personal growth. The triumph of reason illuminated Friedrich's path with a newfound clarity and purpose. He understood that reason was not an abstract concept confined to the pages of books, it was a force that could drive individual and societal progress. Through reason, Friedrich glimpsed a world where knowledge was attainable, where ignorance could be dispelled, and where humanity could forge a brighter future. As Friedrich closed the second chapter, he carried with him a deep appreciation for the triumphs of reason and its transformative potential. He resolved to continue honing his rational faculties, to question assumptions, and to critically evaluate ideas. The triumph of reason became Friedrich's guiding principle, propelling him forward on his transformative journey of self-discovery and intellectual enlightenment. With a renewed sense of purpose and armed with the power of reason, Friedrich eagerly turned the page, ready to unravel the mysteries that awaited him in the next chapter of his philosophical odyssey. Chapter 3 – The Beauty of Aesthetics In his ongoing quest for enlightenment, Friedrich's intellectual journey led him to explore the captivating realm of aesthetics. As he delved into the third chapter, titled The Beauty of Aesthetics, Friedrich discovered the transformative power of art, beauty, and the profound impact they have on the human experience. 
Immersing himself in the works of philosophers such as Plato, Friedrich was captivated by the notion that beauty transcends the physical realm, reflecting higher truths and ideals. He contemplated Plato's belief that art and beauty possess the ability to elevate the soul and inspire a deeper understanding of the world. Continuing his exploration, Friedrich encountered the influential writings of Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche celebrated the power of art as a vital force in human existence, capable of revealing hidden truths and providing solace in the face of life's hardships. Friedrich marveled at Nietzsche's concept of the Dionysian and Apollonian, recognizing the intricate balance between the wild, chaotic forces of life and the harmonizing influence of order and beauty. Guided by the words of philosophers such as George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel, Friedrich began to see aesthetics as more than mere decoration or sensory pleasure. Hegel posited that art and beauty are not static entities but dynamic expressions of the human spirit, reflecting the cultural, historical, and social contexts in which they emerge. Inspired by these philosophical insights, Friedrich delved into the world of art, immersing himself in the masterpieces of painters, sculptors, musicians, and writers. He explored the vivid brushstrokes of Leonardo da Vinci, the sublime melodies of Ludwig van Beethoven, and the evocative prose of Leo Tolstoy. Each artistic encounter left an indelible mark on Friedrich's soul, evoking emotions and stirring his innermost thoughts. As Friedrich's appreciation for aesthetics deepened, he recognized that beauty was not confined to traditional forms of art alone. Nature, with its breathtaking landscapes and awe-inspiring phenomena, became a wellspring of inspiration. Friedrich found solace in the tranquil beauty of a sunrise, the delicate petals of a flower, and the rhythmic ebb and flow of the ocean. Nature, too, possessed an inherent aesthetic quality that could move and uplift the human spirit. The beauty of aesthetics illuminated Friedrich's understanding of the transformative power of art and beauty. He realized that aesthetics had the remarkable ability to awaken dormant emotions, provoke contemplation, and inspire profound insights about the nature of existence. Through art, Friedrich discovered a pathway to connect with the sublime, to transcend the ordinary and touch the depths of the human experience. Armed with this newfound understanding, Friedrich sought to infuse his own life with beauty and creativity. He embraced the arts as a means of personal expression, engaging in painting, writing, and music to explore the depths of his own emotions and thoughts. Friedrich recognized that by cultivating an appreciation for aesthetics, he could enrich his own existence and contribute to the collective human experience. Closing the third chapter of his transformative journey, Friedrich emerged with a heightened awareness of the beauty that permeates the world. He understood that aesthetics held the power to illuminate the human spirit, to inspire empathy and compassion, and to transcend the boundaries of language and culture. With his heart brimming with the beauty he had discovered, Friedrich eagerly turned the page, ready to explore the next chapter of his philosophical odyssey, eager to continue his transformative quest for truth and understanding. Chapter 4 The Ethical Dilemma In the fourth chapter of Friedrich's transformative journey, titled The Ethical Dilemma, he found himself confronted with profound questions about morality, values, and the complexities of ethical decision-making. As Friedrich delved into the philosophical musings of Aristotle, Immanuel Kant, and John Stuart Mill, he embarked on a transformative exploration of the principles that guide human behavior and the pursuit of the good life. Drawing upon the wisdom of Aristotle, Friedrich contemplated the concept of virtue ethics. Aristotle argued that cultivating virtuous character traits, such as courage, justice, and wisdom, is central to living a morally fulfilling life. Friedrich grappled with the idea that personal integrity and the pursuit of excellence are integral to ethical decision-making. Immanuel Kant's categorical imperative provided Friedrich with a different perspective on ethics. Kant emphasized the importance of universal principles and moral duties that should guide one's actions. Friedrich was challenged by Kant's notion that ethical decisions should be based on principles that could be universally applied, independent of personal desires or consequences. Exploring the works of John Stuart Mill, Friedrich encountered the philosophy of utilitarianism. Mill argued that ethical decisions should be guided by the pursuit of the greatest happiness for the greatest number of people. 
Friedrich contemplated the complexities of balancing individual desires and the collective welfare, recognizing the need for thoughtful consideration of consequences in ethical deliberation. As Friedrich grappled with the ethical dilemma, he encountered various thought experiments and real-life ethical scenarios that tested his moral compass. He contemplated classic dilemmas such as the trolley problem and the prisoner's dilemma, which forced him to weigh conflicting values and make difficult choices. These ethical explorations took Friedrich beyond the realm of theory and into the practical complexities of moral decision-making. He realized that ethical dilemmas often arise from conflicting values, competing interests, and the need to navigate complex moral landscapes. Friedrich acknowledged that ethical reasoning required not only intellectual rigor but also empathy, compassion, and a deep understanding of human nature. The ethical dilemma became a turning point in Friedrich's transformative journey. He recognized the immense responsibility that comes with ethical decision-making, acknowledging the impact his choices could have on himself, others, and society at large. Friedrich committed himself to a lifelong process of moral self-reflection, continually questioning and refining his values and ethical principles. Armed with a deeper understanding of ethics, Friedrich sought to embody the virtues he admired and to align his actions with his values. He recognized the importance of empathy and compassion in considering the well-being of others and the interconnectedness of human relationships. Friedrich understood that ethical decision-making required not only intellectual acumen but also emotional intelligence and a commitment to justice and fairness. As Friedrich closed the fourth chapter, he emerged with a renewed sense of ethical clarity and a commitment to living an examined life. The ethical dilemma had forced him to confront his own values, biases, and the complexities of the world. Friedrich understood that ethical reasoning was not always black and white but required nuanced judgment and a deep appreciation for the complexities of human nature. Eager to continue his transformative journey, Friedrich turned the page, ready to explore the next chapter in his quest for truth, understanding, and personal growth. The ethical dilemma had left an indelible mark on his soul, propelling him forward with a newfound determination to navigate the moral challenges that lay ahead. Chapter 5, The Existential Crisis In the fifth chapter of Friedrich's transformative odyssey, titled The Existential Crisis, he found himself grappling with the fundamental questions of human existence, the meaning of life, and the complexities of individual identity. As Friedrich immersed himself in the works of existentialist philosophers such as Soren Kierkegaard, Jean-Paul Sartre, and Albert Camus, he embarked on a profound journey of self-reflection and philosophical inquiry. Inspired by Kierkegaard's philosophy, Friedrich confronted the existential anxiety that arises from the tension between personal freedom and the weight of responsibility. Kierkegaard's concept of the leap of faith challenged Friedrich to examine the depths of his own existence, urging him to embrace uncertainty and confront the existential paradoxes inherent in human life. Delving further into existentialism, Friedrich encountered the writings of Jean-Paul Sartre. Sartre's notion of existence precedes essence resonated deeply with Friedrich, as he grappled with the idea that human beings are not born with predetermined purposes but must actively create their own meanings and values. Friedrich recognized the immense freedom and responsibility that comes with defining one's own existence. In his exploration of existentialism, Friedrich also encountered Albert Camus' philosophy of the absurd. Camus postulated that life is inherently devoid of inherent meaning, and the human search for ultimate purpose is futile. Friedrich found himself confronting the inherent contradictions and absurdist nature of existence, struggling to find meaning in a seemingly meaningless world. As Friedrich confronted the existential crisis, he began to question his own identity and the values that had shaped his worldview. He contemplated the influence of societal expectations, cultural norms, and personal desires on the construction of his own identity. Friedrich yearned to discover an authentic sense of self, untethered from external influences and aligned with his deepest convictions. The existential crisis became a catalyst for Friedrich's personal transformation. He confronted the existential dread that had haunted him, recognizing it as an invitation to explore the depths of his own being and to embrace the freedom and responsibility that came with it. 
Friedrich realized that the absence of predetermined meaning allowed him to forge his own path, to create a life imbued with personal significance and authenticity. Drawing upon the insights of existentialist philosophers, Friedrich embarked on a journey of self-discovery and self-creation. He sought moments of profound introspection, embracing solitude and silence to confront the depths of his own existence. Friedrich recognized that the quest for meaning was a deeply personal and subjective endeavor, requiring him to confront his fears, confront the inherent uncertainties of life, and make deliberate choices that aligned with his own values and aspirations. As Friedrich closed the fifth chapter of his transformative journey, he emerged with a renewed sense of purpose and an acceptance of the existential complexities of human existence. The existential crisis had taught him that the search for meaning is an ongoing process, requiring continual introspection, self-reflection, and an acceptance of the inherent uncertainties of life. Eager to continue his transformative exploration, Friedrich turned the page, ready to confront the philosophical challenges that lay ahead. The existential crisis had left an indelible mark on his soul, propelling him forward with a renewed sense of authenticity and a commitment to navigate the complexities of his own existence with courage and conviction. Chapter 6 the Pursuit of Happiness In the sixth chapter of Friedrich's transformative journey, titled The Pursuit of Happiness, he delved into the philosophical exploration of human well-being, contentment, and the elusive nature of happiness. Guided by the wisdom of ancient philosophers such as Epicurus and the Stoics, Friedrich embarked on a quest to uncover the keys to a fulfilling and meaningful life. Immersing himself in the teachings of Epicurus, Friedrich contemplated the concept of hedonism not as a pursuit of momentary pleasure, but as a path to inner tranquility and the absence of pain. Epicurus emphasized the importance of cultivating a simple and virtuous life, free from unnecessary desires and external distractions that hinder true happiness. As Friedrich explored the Stoic philosophy, he encountered the writings of Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius. Stoicism taught him to find happiness by aligning his desires with the natural order of the universe and accepting things beyond his control. Friedrich recognized the power of embracing adversity and maintaining inner serenity in the face of life's challenges. Inspired by these philosophical teachings, Friedrich began to evaluate his own understanding of happiness and the pursuit of well-being. He questioned the cultural narratives that equated happiness with material wealth, social status, or fleeting pleasures. Friedrich realized that true happiness was not dependent on external circumstances, but on cultivating inner contentment and aligning one's actions with personal values and virtues. As Friedrich reflected on his own life, he recognized that the pursuit of happiness required self-awareness and the ability to discern between fleeting pleasures and lasting fulfillment. He explored the practice of mindfulness and gratitude, cherishing the present moment and finding joy in the simplest of experiences. Friedrich learned to cultivate positive emotions, nurture meaningful relationships, and prioritize experiences that enriched his soul. The pursuit of happiness became a transformative endeavor for Friedrich, leading him to a deeper understanding of himself and his place in the world. He realized that happiness was not a destination but a lifelong journey, shaped by conscious choices, personal growth, and a commitment to live in alignment with his values. Friedrich understood that happiness was not a solitary pursuit but deeply interconnected with the well-being of others and the collective good. He embraced the importance of compassion, empathy, and acts of kindness as pathways to personal fulfillment and societal harmony. Friedrich recognized that his own happiness was intimately linked to the happiness and well-being of those around him. Closing the sixth chapter of his transformative journey, Friedrich emerged with a profound appreciation for the pursuit of happiness as a transformative and lifelong endeavor. He understood that true happiness was not a fleeting emotion but a state of being grounded in self-awareness, purpose, and the cultivation of inner peace. Eager to continue his transformative exploration, Friedrich turned the page, ready to delve into the next chapter of his philosophical odyssey. The pursuit of happiness had awakened a deep sense of joy and fulfillment within him, propelling him forward with renewed vigor and a commitment to live a life that radiated happiness, both for himself and for others. Chapter 7, The Quest for Truth In the seventh chapter of Friedrich's transformative journey, titled The Quest for Truth, 
he embarked on a philosophical exploration of the nature of truth, knowledge, and the pursuit of understanding. Inspired by the teachings of influential philosophers such as Plato, René Descartes, and George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel, Friedrich sought to unravel the mysteries of existence and navigate the complexities of human knowledge. Drawing upon Plato's allegory of the cave, Friedrich contemplated the nature of truth as a transcendent reality beyond mere appearances. He recognized that truth was not always readily accessible and often required a courageous departure from the comfortable confines of conventional wisdom. Friedrich acknowledged that the quest for truth demanded intellectual curiosity, critical thinking, and a willingness to challenge deeply ingrained beliefs. Inspired by Descartes' skepticism, Friedrich confronted the limitations of human knowledge and the deceptive nature of perception. Descartes' famous dictum cogito, ergo sum, I think, therefore I am, became a guiding principle for Friedrich's own search for truth. He understood that genuine knowledge required rigorous examination and the ability to discern between subjective impressions and objective reality. As Friedrich delved deeper into the realm of truth, he encountered Hegel's philosophy of dialectics. Hegel emphasized the dynamic nature of truth, proposing that it evolves through the clash of opposing ideas, leading to higher levels of understanding. Friedrich recognized the transformative potential of embracing intellectual conflicts and engaging in open dialogue to arrive at a more comprehensive and nuanced grasp of truth. In his quest for truth, Friedrich also explored the scientific method and the importance of empirical evidence in acquiring knowledge. He marveled at the discoveries of groundbreaking scientists who challenged prevailing beliefs and expanded humanity's understanding of the natural world. Friedrich recognized the necessity of empirical observation and experimentation in the pursuit of truth, appreciating the symbiotic relationship between science and philosophy. The quest for truth became a transformative journey of self-discovery and intellectual growth for Friedrich. He realized that the pursuit of truth was not a solitary endeavor but a collaborative effort that required engagement with diverse perspectives and a commitment to intellectual humility. Friedrich sought truth not as a means of attaining absolute certainty but as a process of continuous questioning, exploration, and refinement. As Friedrich closed the seventh chapter of his transformative journey, he emerged with a deep appreciation for the quest for truth as an ongoing and ever-evolving pursuit. He recognized that truth was not a fixed destination but a path to be traversed with curiosity, open-mindedness, and a willingness to confront uncertainty. Friedrich embraced the transformative power of truth, knowing that it had the capacity to challenge his assumptions, broaden his horizons, and ultimately lead him closer to a more profound understanding of the world and his place within it. Eager to continue his transformative exploration, Friedrich turned the page, ready to delve into the next chapter of his philosophical odyssey. The quest for truth had awakened a burning desire within him, propelling him forward with a renewed commitment to seek knowledge, challenge assumptions, and embrace the transformative power of truth. Chapter 8, The Philosophy of Freedom In the eighth chapter of Friedrich's transformative journey, titled The Philosophy of Freedom, he delved into the profound exploration of individual liberty, autonomy, and the complexities of human freedom. Inspired by the teachings of influential philosophers such as Jean-Jacques Rousseau, John Locke, and John Stuart Mill, Friedrich embarked on a quest to understand the nature of freedom and its implications for human existence. Drawing upon Rousseau's social contract theory, Friedrich contemplated the concept of freedom as a natural right that should be preserved and protected within a just society. He recognized the delicate balance between individual liberty and the need for societal order, grappling with the complexities of reconciling personal freedoms with the common good. As Friedrich explored Locke's philosophy, he encountered the idea of natural rights and the notion that individuals possess inherent rights to life, liberty, and property. Friedrich contemplated the profound implications of these rights on the foundations of human freedom, recognizing the importance of preserving individual autonomy as a cornerstone of a just and flourishing society. Inspired by John Stuart Mill's On Liberty, Friedrich confronted the complexities of freedom of thought and expression. Mill argued that the freedom to hold diverse opinions and engage in open dialogue was crucial for individual growth and societal progress. 
Friedrich recognized the transformative power of free expression and the need to protect intellectual diversity in order to foster a vibrant and dynamic society. As Friedrich delved deeper into the philosophy of freedom, he encountered the paradoxical nature of freedom itself. He contemplated the existential responsibility that accompanied freedom, recognizing that true freedom required the ability to make informed choices and accept the consequences that arose from those choices. Friedrich realized that freedom was not merely the absence of external constraints but also the capacity to exercise reasoned judgment and act in accordance with one's own values and principles. The philosophy of freedom became a transformative lens through which Friedrich viewed his own life and the society in which he lived. He recognized that true freedom demanded not only personal autonomy but also a commitment to social justice and the empowerment of marginalized voices. Friedrich sought to align his actions with his principles, advocating for a more inclusive and equitable society that honored the rights and freedoms of all individuals. As Friedrich delved deeper into the philosophy of freedom, he encountered the paradoxical nature of freedom itself. He contemplated the existential responsibility that accompanied freedom, recognizing that true freedom required the ability to make informed choices and accept the consequences that arose from those choices. Friedrich realized that freedom was not merely the absence of external constraints but also the capacity to exercise reasoned judgment and act in accordance with one's own values and principles. The philosophy of freedom became a transformative lens through which Friedrich viewed his own life and the society in which he lived. He recognized that true freedom demanded not only personal autonomy but also a commitment to social justice and the empowerment of marginalized voices. Friedrich sought to align his actions with his principles, advocating for a more inclusive and equitable society that honored the rights and freedoms of all individuals. Chapter 9 The Transcendent Journey In the ninth chapter of Friedrich's transformative odyssey, titled The Transcendent Journey, he delved into the realm of transcendentalism and mysticism, seeking to uncover the profound connections between nature, spirituality, and the depths of human consciousness. Inspired by the works of philosophers such as Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, and Arthur Schopenhauer, Friedrich embarked on a transformative exploration of the transcendent aspects of existence. Immersing himself in the writings of Ralph Waldo Emerson, Friedrich contemplated the idea that nature serves as a gateway to the divine and a source of spiritual inspiration. Emerson's transcendentalism emphasized the importance of individual intuition and direct experience of the natural world, urging Friedrich to seek unity with the cosmic forces that underlie existence. Building upon Emerson's ideas, Friedrich encountered the philosophy of Henry David Thoreau, who immersed himself in the solitude of nature to connect with his inner self and experience the sublime. Friedrich recognized the transformative power of retreating to the quiet depths of nature, finding solace in its beauty and reconnecting with his own essence. In his exploration of transcendence, Friedrich encountered the writings of Arthur Schopenhauer, who contemplated the nature of human suffering and the pursuit of enlightenment. Schopenhauer's philosophy of pessimism led Friedrich to confront the limitations of human desires and the transient nature of worldly pleasures. Friedrich sought to transcend the cravings of the ego and delve into the depths of his own consciousness, seeking a transcendent understanding of the human condition. As Friedrich embraced the transcendent journey, he practiced mindfulness and meditation, engaging in moments of deep introspection and self-reflection. He found solace in the stillness of contemplative practices, exploring the depths of his own consciousness and seeking to transcend the boundaries of ordinary perception. In these transformative moments, Friedrich experienced glimpses of the interconnectedness of all things, the vastness of the universe, and a sense of awe that transcended the limitations of his individual existence. He recognized that the pursuit of transcendence was not an escape from reality but an embracing of the profound interconnectedness and mystery that underlie human existence. The transcendent journey became a transformative path for Friedrich, allowing him to transcend the confines of everyday life and embrace the profound interconnectedness of all things. He realized that the transcendent experiences he encountered had the power to bring him closer to the essence of his own being and to foster a deeper connection with the world around him. 
As Friedrich closed the ninth chapter of his transformative journey, he emerged with a deep appreciation for the transcendent aspects of existence and the transformative power of connecting with the sublime. He recognized that the journey toward transcendence was a lifelong endeavor, requiring continual practice, self-reflection, and an openness to the mysteries of existence. Eager to continue his transformative exploration, Friedrich turned the page, ready to delve into the next chapter of his philosophical odyssey. The transcendent journey had awakened a profound sense of interconnectedness within him, propelling him forward with a renewed commitment to embracing the mysteries of existence and seeking a deeper understanding of the transcendent nature of human consciousness. Epilogue, The Legacy of Friedrich Having traversed the transformative chapters of his philosophical odyssey, Friedrich emerged as a changed individual, enriched by wisdom, insight, and a deeper understanding of the world. The culmination of his journey was not merely the accumulation of knowledge, but the transformation of his very being. Friedrich's legacy lay in the way he embodied the teachings of the great philosophers he encountered. His insatiable curiosity sparked a lifelong commitment to the pursuit of truth and understanding, guiding his actions and shaping his interactions with others. Friedrich's intellectual journey had instilled in him a profound appreciation for reason, beauty, ethics, and the transcendent aspects of existence. His quest for knowledge had transcended the boundaries of academia, permeating his daily life. Friedrich had become a beacon of intellectual curiosity, inspiring those around him to embark on their own transformative journeys. His willingness to question assumptions, challenge beliefs, and embrace uncertainty encouraged others to seek a deeper understanding of themselves and the world. Friedrich's legacy extended beyond his personal growth and transformation. He recognized the importance of sharing his newfound wisdom, engaging in meaningful discussions, and fostering intellectual discourse. Friedrich became a catalyst for intellectual and philosophical exploration, encouraging others to embark on their own transformative journeys of self-discovery. As Friedrich's influence spread, he became a mentor, guide, and source of inspiration for those seeking a deeper connection with philosophy and the transformative power of ideas. He shared his knowledge, sparked intellectual debates, and nurtured the intellectual growth of those around him. Friedrich's legacy became interwoven with the growth and transformation of the individuals whose lives he touched. Moreover, Friedrich's impact extended beyond the immediate circle of his influence. The ripples of his intellectual journey touched society at large. His commitment to freedom, justice, and the pursuit of happiness inspired others to challenge oppressive systems, advocate for social change, and contribute to a more equitable and compassionate world. The legacy of Friedrich was not confined to the boundaries of his lifetime. The ideas he embraced and embodied continued to resonate with future generations, shaping the intellectual landscape of the world. His transformative journey served as a testament to the transformative power of philosophy and the enduring relevance of timeless wisdom. In the tapestry of human history, Friedrich's legacy became an integral thread, woven into the fabric of intellectual progress and the quest for a deeper understanding of the human experience. His transformative odyssey served as a reminder that personal growth, intellectual exploration, and the pursuit of truth are lifelong endeavors, transcending the limitations of time and space. As Friedrich's story came to a close, his legacy lived on, carried forward by those who embraced the transformative power of philosophy. The journey he embarked upon was not a solitary one but part of a collective human quest for wisdom, understanding, and personal growth. And so, the transformative journey of Friedrich left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of those who encountered his story, igniting a flame of curiosity, inspiring intellectual exploration, and shaping the future trajectory of human thought. As the pages turned, ready to chronicle the stories of others, Friedrich's legacy continued to illuminate the transformative power of philosophy, reminding us that the pursuit of knowledge and understanding is a timeless endeavor that enriches both our individual lives and the collective human experience.